Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to talk about actor Merlin Santana. Merlin was born on March 14, 1976 in Upper Manhattan to parents from the Dominican Republic. Merlin was named after a character from an old movie named Merlin the Magician, with him being considered a miracle baby with him being extremely premature. Growing up in a rough area and environment that he did, his parents wanted to put him in activities to keep him away from the streets and bad influences. A lot of his friends at the time were from different crews in the area, so his mom would get him into modeling and keep him on the right path and being productive. Merlin's mom would be introduced to a talent angel which helped him land several commercials, and by 1991, Merlin would appear in several TV roles like Major Dad, Law and & Order, and his biggest role up to that point, being on The Cosby Show playing Rudy Huxtable's boyfriend Stanley, where he would appear in seven episodes. Bill Cosby would handpick him for the role after seeing Merlin act in the play. By the next year, 1992, Merlin would appear and be one of the main characters of a short-lived show called Getting By, which lasted two seasons, and he would appear in 31 episodes. This show ended in 1994, so for the next two years, Merlin would appear in several shows playing several characters. He appeared in Sister Sister, Under One Roof, Street Gear, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, and playing a recurring character named Ohaji on Moesha in 96. But his biggest role to date came in 1996 playing Romeo Santana on The Steve Harvey Show. The Steve Harvey Show lasted six seasons and 122 episodes, which Merlin would appear in every single one. He received a few nominations for his role in the show, which his character was a beloved character. By 2002, the show ended because of Steve Harvey wanted to pursue other things and move on in his career from the show. With the show ending, Merlin tried to focus on his new passion, and that would be rapping. He will also appear in a few roles during that time. He appeared in a movie called Showtime starring Eddie Murphy, then a TV movie named Played, and also appearing in an episode of TV show Half and Half. In the same year of 2002, tragedy will happen to Merlin and fellow actor Brandon Adams. You may know him for several roles like Almighty Ducks, Moesha, and A Different World. Merlin and Brandon were playing the Hollywood scene. They would go to several places and they would end up hooking up with some women. They hung out and went to dinner and then went to a club. Merlin later that night ended up clapping one of the women named Mercedes. But the next day, Merlin and Brenda would link up with the women again. But he wasn't giving Mercedes any time of the day and wasn't paying attention to her and treated her basically like a thought. Mercedes wasn't feeling this. So on November 9th, 2002, Merlin and Brenda were sitting in the car. They just left her acquaintance house in the Crenshaw area when both Brenda and Merlin would be ambushed and the car was sprayed. Brenda drove off but when he stopped after getting away, he noticed Merlin was slumped over. He was shot in the head, taking his life. And this is where everything gets out of pocket. The woman I mentioned before, Mercedes, she was actually a 15-year-old girl who lied about her age. She had a fake ID, so she lied and tricked Merlin to thinking she was something else that she wasn't. Her name wasn't even Mercedes. It was Monique. Monique set the whole thing up. She told her boyfriend Damon and his friend Brandon not to be confused with Merlin's friend that Merlin took advantage of her which prompted them to get payback. The whole time, she was a little fast little thought who was bitter that Merlin didn't want to be with her. So this prompted her to tell them that he took advantage of her and tried to set the play to get him set up. But this ended in him getting killed. Damien would be sentenced to life in prison and his accomplice Brandon would receive 23 years. Monique only received 10 years juvenile time with her age. Of her being released after doing her 10 year stint, she's been back to jail several times from various charges. So you can see ain't too much change. This would mentally damage Brandon Adams with losing his best friend and seeing him shot dead in his face. He never really recovered. He was stepped back from acting for a while. Just a recent has been talking about the trauma that he has faced since then. 2003, Merlin's last role, a low budget movie called The Blues was released. Merlin was only 26 years old and left behind a daughter. His career and life was cut short behind some nonsense that didn't have to happen. He had a great career and was a great young talent. R.I.P. to him. This was his story. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.